切り返し。In this technique, your opponent comes to grab both your sleeves. This doesn't make too much sense nowadays, but imagine someone in the old days who has received something important from his lord. Both his hands are occupied holding what he was given when someone attacked him to rob him. Please imagine such a historical scenario. You do not wait until he has grabbed your sleeves to move, but rather invite his attack. And start at the moment he grabs. After you have unbalanced him, notice that his key is moving over here. You enter yourself. At this point, at the moment I enter, I am stopping the technique for a moment now, even though you should not stop halfway. Put your foot between his feet. Then unbalance him at the moment you enter. Turn this hand toward the opponent's armpit and bring your right hand towards his face with the intention of striking him. Then execute a final blow. What is important here is that you guide him in quickly at the very moment he comes to grab you. You invite him and then enter to execute the technique. As you have noticed, up until now in all of the techniques, the opponent is brought off balance at the moment of contact. You unbalance him at the moment of contact. This is the case with all of the techniques. This is the case with all of the techniques. However, with Kotegaishi, for the first time, we learn how to respond after we are grabbed. A two hand grab is not a suitable attack nowadays, so please consider it from a historical standpoint. The explanation in Dai to Ryu is that this two hand grab comes from Tegoi, which is a Shinto term. I understand that in other places the technique is explained using a sword. First, you draw a sword or wakizashi, so you are taught to first hold with the right hand or the left hand. However, in Dai to Ryu, we interpret this as coming from Tegoi, which is a Shinto expression. Another important thing is not to bring your hands forward. Never take a stance with your hands like this. Always remain in a natural stance, keeping your hands on the base of your thighs. I will go into more detail later when we come to Idori. So, it is not good to bring your hands forward. Be sure to place your fingers together and hold them on the base of your thighs.
When he grabs your hands, stay right where you are, open your fingers, and clap your hands together as you would do in a Shinto shrine. This is called Kashiwade. Kashiwade is done in this manner. You clap your hands together like this, and the louder the sound, the better. Let all of your key flow into your fingertips. Open your fingertips completely and clap your hands. Then, after clapping your hands together, bring them in front of your face as if holding a mirror to your face. This movement brings your opponent off center. Unbalance him. This position is not good because your opponent is still balanced. Bring your hands to your face effectively so that your opponent's heels are lifted up. Your little finger, the one facing you, is going to turn towards your opponent. Then you cut down like this. Extend your arm and your fingertips. If the arm is bent like this, he will not lose his balance. If your arm is bent, you cannot unbalance him. Be sure to extend the arm like this. Also extend your fingertips. Then he will be brought off balance. From this point, you can either throw him by cutting down right here, or you can throw him by turning around. Now I throw him by cutting down here. Then I apply pressure on his elbow at this point. Be sure to make his hips move up by applying pressure. From this position, he will come to kick you. Be sure to press hard so that his hips lift up. Then he cannot kick you. Please remember this. At the end, you execute a final blow. The common mistake that people make after unbalancing the opponent when throwing him is to lift the hand and throw like this. You have unbalanced him after all of your effort, but if you lift your hand afterwards, you will be counterattacked. You will be defeated. As I said before, once you bring your opponent off balance, be sure to keep him unbalanced.